Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is tracking, believe it or not. What tracking is, is the ability to use the electronic hand wheels and have complete control of the way that the machine tool works. So I want you to think of this scenario right here. You've made a difficult part like the one you see showing up here on the screen. You've got everything checked out in your PC and you got everything checked out in your control. The tool path looks right. You think your zeros are all good. And now comes the scariest part of all. I've got to push go and still hope that I didn't miss something along the way. And so what we're going to do is show you how tracking actually helps take that fear away and give you all the power that you want to have and the control all at the same time while making this piece part. So let me show you how that's done. All right, so here we are in the run mode, and now I'm going to show you the real joy of tracking. Watch how this works. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to CNC run mode, and I'm going to push go. And when I push go, it's going to go home. All right, so in here it's telling me to turn the spindle on like it normally would. And now I'm ready to make parts. But this is where the scary part comes in, right? Because now i got to hope that everything's going to happen right when I push that go button because this time we're cutting chips. But in our case, we're just going to go to tracking. And when we're in tracking, I want to explain one more thing. And that's the fact that you have two hand wheels. Your x-axis hand wheel is actually the coarse feed. And your y-axis hand wheel is the fine feed. So as I come into here and I start moving the handle, you'll notice that it starts making the part. And as I get down here a little closer, I have the chance to stop and first make sure that what I'm seeing there is what I'm also seeing up here so that I know that I'm in the right vicinity. Now I'm going to go to the fine feed and I'm going to start the machining process, right? So you're going to see here that it's going to start cutting into the part in a spiral action, right? And as it starts to machine through here and it looks like it's doing everything the way I want it to, at that point, I can move over and run to run mode or maybe I don't see something that I think is supposed to be happening. The other great thing about tracking is I could say, hey, that's not right, and I go backwards, and I could get right back out of here, right, and say, okay, let's go back and start this over. Maybe something isn't quite right. In my case, I know it is, so I'm gonna get back to where I was at here. I'm just gonna hit the stop button, and I'm gonna go to CNC run, and then I'm gonna push go and let it do the work itself. Here you're witnessing the adaptive machining process and you'll see how it's cutting and keeping the chip load the same all the time and flying through the part pretty quickly. If at any point though I don't like something that's going on, once again I can hit stop, I can go back to tracking, and again I'm in control of what's going on with the process here from start to finish. So again as I do this I can use the tracking mode each time I change tools or anytime I go to a different part. Let's say there's a clamp in the way and I'm getting really close to that clamp. I can stop, go to tracking, get beyond the clamp or move the clamp, go back into tracking, make sure I'm in the right place. Then once again, stop, CNC run, and let it rip. As you can tell from this process, there's no time whatsoever that I should feel uncomfortable with what's going on right here because I know exactly what I'm seeing all the time. I can even see it happening on the screen and I know that I'm in the right place over there as well as I am over here as I'm watching the whole process work. So I hope you see how beneficial it is to use tracking in the machine. And uh, as everything else that we do around here, we're going to show you more of it as we go on to some of our other videos. But for now, this should get you started. Remember, I'm Tracking Pat, and keep on tracking.